Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Another active day with showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. We're going to continue with a decent chance of rain really all the way through the end of next week. And we got some stuff down in the tropics. I'll tell you all about it coming up in this morning's edition of your primetime forecast for Thursday, June 30th, the final day of June for 2022. Dr. Don's weather in the primetime forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. You want to click that link at the top of this video or call Jamie at 256-831-7770 to get that cost-free, no-obligation insurance quote. Once you do that, you become eligible to win some great prizes, such as the Dr. Don Weather app. You're also going to pick up a K&L Car Charm from K&L Car Charms, the car freshies to make your automobile smell really good. And then coming up at our next uh, three drawings, we're going to be giving away two tickets each to the Vern Fest, which is coming to Warren Sewell Field in Woodland, Alabama on July 30th. Little Texas will be in concert along with Kevin Moon and Callie Knight. So make sure that you get that cost-free, no obligation in church quote today so you can be a winner with Dr. Don's Weather and Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. We will be there for the Vern Fest. We'll set up uh, there at the uh, Warren Sewell Field in Woodland. We'll be there all day. Uh, the gates open at 5 p.m. show starts at 7 p.m. So make sure you get your tickets and come hang out with us. We're going to be giving away Dr. Don t-shirts, and we got all kind of goodies uh, that we're going to be giving away coming up at the Vern Fest this year in Woodland, Alabama. All right, so let's jump into your forecast. Don't forget to follow us over on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel and click that little bell so that when we go live for severe weather, You'll be guaranteed to get notified, and you'll be able to find out what's going on with the weather forecast. So, uh, we have a messy situation set up across the southeastern United States, and there really is no, no relief in sight. Um, but that's a good thing, because we do need the moisture. And this time of year, you, you really got to take it when you can get it. Uh, we have a low-pressure center that's centered off the coast of Texas this morning. We'll show you that in a few minutes. Uh, but there's a southerly flow to the east of that low-pressure system, which is keeping all this tropical moisture off the Gulf of Mexico, racing to the north across Alabama and Georgia. We have some upper-level ridging that's taking place across the area. All this combined is what's giving us these afternoon showers and thunderstorms, and today will be a repeat performance of yesterday. Now, they were kind of late uh, getting started yesterday. I think they'll start earlier today. And then we'll see the same thing on Friday. As a matter of fact, Friday probably has a little better chance of uh, widespread coverage than what we'll see today. And then as we get into the weekend, we'll drop back to about a 50-50 shot at seeing a shower, a thunderstorm in the afternoon, all the way through your 4th of July, and then even into next week, uh, potentially all the way through next week. So we'll tell you all about that. Today, scattered showers and thunderstorms across East Alabama and West Georgia. We don't anticipate severe weather, but there could be a rogue strong storm or two. Uh, just as we saw last evening, we had a severe thunderstorm warning posted for Southern Carroll and Northern Herd. We did some live coverage for you last night. Uh, tremendous amount of lightning output in that storm. So we could see a few of those again this afternoon and this evening as well. Same thing on Friday. Good coverage across all of the southeastern United States. And then again on Saturday, pretty much the same thing. Um, it's just going to be a scattered thunderstorm period right on through the middle or latter part of next week. So let's take a look at the tropics because uh, this is where we've kind of got some stuff going on this morning. Uh, we have three areas. We'll start with the western Gulf of Mexico. We have shower and thunderstorm activity out there. It does remain poorly organized with an area of low pressure located 
over the western Gulf of Mexico. This system is forecast to move slowly westward and approach the coast of southern Texas and northern Mexico later today. Now, here's the $64 million question. What happens to it after it makes landfall? Uh, probably going to turn back off to the north and then eventually to the northeast. That's what these tropical systems do. And so that could enhance our rain chances, especially uh, along and north of the I-20 corridor in Alabama and Georgia. By the time we get to um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, that's just one possibility. It could also completely fizzle out and not uh, influence our weather much at all. But we're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, nonetheless, it's not going to make it to hurricane status. It could potentially go to tropical depression status before making landfall, but that would be about it. Uh, then we have that yellow hatched area down uh, in the Atlantic. And uh, so that's a tropical wave located of the western tropical Atlantic. It continues to produce disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Only slight additional development is um, expected out of this system. Uh, and it is anticipated to move to the west-northwest for the next several days. Uh, the wave is then forecast to move over the Windward Islands late Friday or early Saturday and then over the eastern Caribbean Sea by the weekend where further development is likely due to unfavorable uh, or is not likely, I should say, due to unfavorable conditions. So we're only giving that yellow area about a 10% chance of developing. And then you have uh, potential tropical cyclone 2, that's that red X, that is likely to develop into a hurricane. Uh, but here's the good news. It's going to move off to the west and eventually end up in the Pacific. Uh, we think it stays as a tropical storm all the way uh, out into the Pacific and then maybe making hurricane status south of Mexico uh, by about Tuesday. But that's moving west. That will not be an influence across the United States in the coming days. Currently, we have 70 degrees at the East Alabama Bee Company in Five Points, Alabama. High temperature yesterday was 88. We have fair skies this morning. Wind is out of the north-northeast at 1, gusting to 4. 97% humidity. It is thick out there this morning. Barometric pressure is 30.20. We did record a trace of rain at the East Alabama Bee Company yesterday. Some of you picked up much more than that. Some of you didn't see any rain at all yesterday. Uh, but up there in northern Randolph County, back over into Carroll, northern Herd, uh, you saw a pretty good thunderstorm late yesterday evening. Sunrise this morning, 534. Sun sets this evening at 755 p.m. Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram at your fast forecast every morning in 60 seconds or less from Dr. Don's Weather and the Alpha Weather Center. Here is your forecast for Thursday, June 30th. 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. I think we stay mostly cloudy today. 87 will be your high this afternoon. Again, some of these thunderstorms could produce some heavy rain, gusty wind, and uh, some pretty good lightning. Uh, we're not anticipating widespread severe, but there could be a rogue strong storm or two. The showers will continue into the uh, overnight up until around 9, 10, 11 p.m. this evening. Then they fade away just as they did yesterday. And then on Friday, maybe back to partly cloudy skies, but we're going to increase that chance of rain to 70% by afternoon. 83 will be your high. And for the weekend, as we get into your holiday weekend on Saturday, uh, my son is missing right there. But I think we're looking at partly cloudy skies on Saturday, 60% chance of showers, 86. Sunday, a 50-50 shot at seeing a shower or thunderstorm, 86. And a very typical weather day for the 4th of July for this time of year. 50-50 shot at seeing a scattered afternoon thunderstorm at those outdoor gatherings. And then as we as the sun sets on Monday and we get set for those fireworks shows all across East Alabama and West Georgia, it's going to be hit and miss. Some areas will have a uh, Mother Nature fireworks show underway, and some of you will watch a man-made fireworks show on Monday evening. 50% chance of rain for your 4th of July. 88 will be the high. And then for Tuesday, pretty much a carbon copy of Monday, 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms with a high temperature of 88 degrees. Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar this morning. Showing a few showers across uh, East Alabama. Let's start down here around Mobile. 
feel. Uh, Biloxi, Mississippi, got some pretty heavy thunderstorms rumbling down there just to the east of New Orleans. And then you see all those lightning strikes along the Gulf Coast. That's coming off of that low pressure center down there just off the Texas coast. And then up here in East Alabama and West Georgia, a few scattered showers already developing this morning, especially down there around Montgomery and Elmore County. Uh, maybe some sprinkles down there in southern Tallapoosa County. And then over in northern Troop and southern Herd, uh, we have a few scattered light showers this morning also. But as you can see, for the most part, our coverage counties uh, across East Alabama and West Georgia are dry this morning, but we will see a slow increase in activity as we go throughout the day. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. It's at DSTREN1040. And we do all of our weather information on Twitter, just like we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at drdonwx.com, where you can download the Dr. Don app and you can send us some love by clicking on that donate button, or if you're on Facebook, send us those Facebook stars. You'll get my daily weather forecast on God's Country, 90.9 FM, and the classic, 89.7 East Alabama's classic, Rock Giant. Thank you, Mr. Jeff Monroe over at the East Alabama Bee Company, and Darren Finch at Finch Realty on Lake Weedowie for being our partners here on Dr. Don's Weather. If you own a business and would like to be a partner, all you have to do is send me a message on Messenger. I'll send you the rates and uh, show you how to go about doing it. It's quick. It's easy. You can do it all online. It's secure. And uh, we can have you started by the time we do our very next weather forecast, which will be first thing tomorrow morning right here on Dr. Don's Weather. Y'all have a fantastic Thursday, and I'll see you manana. Bye now.